Hey guys, Scotty here with Strength Rebels. I'm here with Kelly. Kelly's going to do a, a bit of a demo of what our positional screen looks like. So this is very basic. This is something that really should only take two, three minutes and it's just really a bird's eye view of how this person looks and how they move just to get a bit of a sense of who they are and what they can do. So first thing is just basic posture and, and we're not going to pick this to death. All we're going to do with this is look for glaring errors or glaring uh, positional faults, uh, asymmetries, things that would have a big impact on their ability to lift. So just having a look at Kelly, I'm looking at uh, just does he stand upright, does he have shoulders, are they uh, same level, uh, does he have just to turn you know, what, what is his uh, spinal configuration? Does he have a big lordosis? Is he really flat? Um, turn back again. Feet. Does he uh, does he turn out? What is his natural width? Does he have uh, a significant amount of foot turnout? And all of these things can give us a bit of a clue as to potentially what we might need to do when he's uh, when he's moving and when he's doing the, uh, the rest of the assessment. Okay, the next aspect of it is just simply to raise the arms up overhead. So tell me all you can do is ask you to raise up overhead. So I'm looking for a little bit on symmetry. So does he have symmetry this way or does he have something that's a little bit off? Again, major glaring things. Uh, I'm looking at does he shrug significantly or does he keep his shoulder blades down? And I'm looking at general range of motion. So just turn to the side. Can he get all the way up overhead? Does he have a significant comp compensation to do that, right? So again, just a basic bird's eye view. Okay, put your arms down. All right, so the next one is uh, to look at the hip hinge. So what we're gonna do is uh, just assess his ability to bend over and touch his toes. So face that way, Kel. All right, so um, I'm, again, just looking at his natural pattern. I'm not teaching him a hip hinge, just what does it actually look like? So without thinking about it, Kelly, bend over, touch your toes. Okay, so does he have range of motion? Kelly can touch his toes fairly easily. Pretty good range of motion. That gives us a bit of a clue as to where we're at. If he didn't, again, we might be looking at some flexibility or mobility issues when we get to the hip hinge. Um, he has good bend through his back. He's got some good uh, hamstring flexibility, likely. That's where we end with this, but it gives us a good sense of where to start. Okay, come back up. Okay, then the last one is just to look at the deep squat. Okay, so this is just to say, put your feet about shoulder width apart, turn your knees or feet out a little bit, and then just hit the bottom. And all we're doing is looking again for what is his general mobility? What is his ability to get down? What is his range of motion? What does it look like? So drop down into a squat, full squat, all the way down, and just relax there, you can actually just drop your arms down. So I'm looking at a little bit on knees. So do his knees cave in significantly? Do they come out? Is he able to maintain that position? I'm looking for his lumbar spine position, turn, uh, turn that way. So can he get into a, it won't be neutral, it won't be uh, in a full extended position like we want when he's squatting, but is it significantly rounded? So do we have something that's a, uh, that would indicate a mobility issue? Do we have a range of motion issue? Like Kelly can hit the deck pretty hard, but some people you're gonna see that kind of maybe might stop here and then just round off for me and might get into this sort of position. So if they, this is their bottom, it tells you a lot about what potentially they can do. Okay, back up. Um, so again, just use it as a bird's eye view to start off our assessment process and it gives you a little bit of a checklist and some clues as to where to go when you get into the full assessment for each of the overhead, the hip hinge and the deep squat positioning and movements.